Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another edition of Two Scoop News. Now, an eight-year-old boy is charged with murder of a one-year-old girl while the parents were out clubbing. Yeah. The mother stays with her friend, who's the homeowner, and both of them have a bunch of small kids. And so that night, they decided to go to the club, probably around 11, left 11.30 that night. They probably came back home at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and, and also, you know, it's another sad thing. Uh, then go and check in on the one year at that time. You know, our officers was not called until the next morning, around 10:30, the next morning. And so, uh, that's when our officers arrived on the scene and found uh, the baby unresponsive. Talk about murder, if you will, because murder involves intent. So, it, did you always believe that the child, in, that the eight-year-old, intended? Well, we did have some information that the, the, the eight-year-old got extremely agitated because the one-year-old refused to stop crying. And so I guess the eight-year-old took it upon himself and, and, and began to commit violent acts against the one-year-old uh, that the one-year-old could definitely not defend herself. And so uh, based off of that, those actions, the intentions, yes. An eight-year-old really being able to process or even have that much maybe evil and it's hard to kind of do something like that. It, it's it's kind of, you know, we're still trying to process it as it relates to the suspect. You know, we think of an eight-year-old being the suspect. Uh, we've never had a case like that. You have an eight-year-old involved, you know. Uh, I don't think no education, no school, and no degree or no training can really prepare you for an eight-year-old committing a crime, this heinous crime like this. But the DA uh, decided, listen, based off the reckless actions of this mother, she was charged with manslaughter, and I think it was the right decision. Now, you've got to be kidding me. What were these parents thinking? What was the eight-year-old boy thinking? I don't know what to say. Man. You can leave an eight-year-old boy in charge of five other children younger than him while you're out in the club. Talk about being irresponsible. Melanie, I, I think it's your turn now. Hey, guys. This is your girl, Melanie Mullins here. I'm going to go into the Word of God. This story actually reminds you of a scripture, Proverbs 22, 6, which talks about chaining up a child in the way that they should go. Where was was the child's parents. But also another scripture comes to mind, Ephesians 6, 1 to 3, about children obeying your parents. But where were the parents? Yeah, another scripture that comes to mind is Matthew 23, 33. And it says, Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Okay, this is a heavy scripture, but basically what I get from it is like the generation coming up even after me, whoa, like ruthless. But let's go back to Ephesians 6, 1 to 3, training up a child. Where did this child learn all these things from? Is it from like the TV shows or even how the child is treated? Mercy. I know that we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, but we don't have to stay in this state. Please, parents, we have to keep an eye on our children. They are so impressionable not only prone to doing violent things, but even perverse things, perverted things. Let our prayer be, Lord, you have blessed me with this child or these children. Show me how to grow them up the way that you want me to. I don't know how the child was growing up. I'm not gonna make the assumption based on them going to the club, but we really, really have to take this into consideration. Our actions, what we do, because at the end of the day, there's always some kind of consequence. Our prayers go out to the family as they grieve the loss of this child. You guys, let us know what you think of this story. Definitely comment down below, comment box. Can I get some, some just give me something, guys. Definitely. Thumbs up this video. And also, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Subbies. Thank you. I love you all. I love it. Okay. And I love you guys who are going to subscribe, right? Right. Anyways, this is Melanie Meldings, Two Scoop News. Continue to pray. Continue to be in fasting. And definitely continue to be in the word. God bless. Give it all, give it all, give it all to Jesus. Shattered dreams, wounded hearts, broken toys. Give it all, give it all, give it all to Jesus, and He will turn.
turn your sorrows into joy.